Thank you for joining us on Wake Up America. I am Paula Cassell. In the past 12 years, we've spent fighting the war on terror. We've already spent $6 trillion, and where has it gotten us? Two war-torn countries whose governments are corrupt. Iraq is now in the midst of a civil war fighting against groups supported by Al-Qaeda, which are growing stronger and stronger every day. As the U.S. considers sending troops back to Iraq, we must look at our history. We have no business getting involved in foreign wars, and our track record with Iraq proves it. Sending troops there again will not make up for all of our mistakes. Up next is a special report, more on the war. For over 12 years now, the U.S. has fought the war on terror, sending hundreds of thousands of troops overseas to fight in countries some of us have never heard of. So what have we gained from fighting these wars? Trillions of dollars in debt and significant effects on the lives of millions of Americans. Since the war in Afghanistan began in 2001, we have spent over $6 trillion of money we don't have fighting this conflict. The total cost to our nation, though, has been much higher and will continue to grow. We are already seeing an increase in issues with our ability to take care of our sick and injured soldiers when they come home. The Veterans Administration is now in the midst of a major scandal showing that thousands of our soldiers are not receiving proper care. If we can't take care of our wounded when they come home, why are we even thinking of going to war? The VA budget has doubled in the last decade and will continue to increase as more soldiers return home and seek treatment. Add on the cost of interest on loans that will have to be repaid and the real monetary cost of these wars will be astounding. We could have spent that money developing new technologies to spark a new period of industrial growth that would have strengthened the middle class. Instead, we are seeking massive income inequality and unemployment. While $6 trillion sounds like a lot of money, no amount of money could make up for the real cost of war. We have lost thousands of lives to these wars, and tens of thousands have come home injured and disabled. These men and women were fathers, mothers, brothers, sisters, sons and daughters. The lasting effect on them and their families will be felt for many more years to come. Getting out of wars would be a good start to restoring our nation. There are no winners in a war, only losers. The cost of war is far too great.